Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror thriller film, Feast, Part 3, The Happy Finish. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a recap of the last episode. A group of survivors in a small town were struggling to reach the refuge of the jailhouse after several strange man-eating monsters attacked them. They were trapped on the rooftop of a building, and they came up with the idea of making a catapult. They launched the Mexican wrestler named Thunder from the catapult, but he failed to reach the jailhouse and was killed by several monsters. At the same time, Lightning, Thunder's brother, used a trash can as a cover to crawl toward his brother and take the key to unlock the jailhouse. Lightning slowly moved toward the jailhouse with the key. Honey Pie left the store and headed toward the road leading out of the town. The monster chased her out of the store. Lightning finally reached the jailhouse door, but Holo was waiting for him inside. When he opened the door, Hobo threw dynamite outside, and the explosion launched Lightning several feet away. A piece from the trash can flew into the air caused by the explosion and hit Honey Pie in the back, causing her to fall and bleed out. A monster found her and decapitated her, ending her honey life. The recap ends, and the monsters are now breaking through the barricade. The bartender panics, but the salesman holds him down and tells him they can hold the monsters off. Biker Queen uses her Tesla motorcycle to kill the monster. The group makes their way down the rooftop. The staircase leading down is dark, and the group carefully traverse the dark stairwell. A monster appears, but the group manages to kill the monster. Meanwhile, a military jeep rams through the entrance of the jailhouse. The group makes their way outside, discovers the jeep, and heads inside the jailhouse. They find inside stays a man called Hotshot, who tells them that the military can't save them because there's none left. This means that the monster invasion isn't just limited to their town, but other parts of the country are being besieged too, so no one can help them. He reveals that he plans to fight the monsters head-on, using the weapons from the building. But Hobo from the last episode tries to shoot Hawkshot, but is stopped by Red Hair. They big up Hobo, leaving him bleeding on the floor. The group tries to find the key to the weapon cabinet. The employee from the second episode suggests that they use a car from the lot. The salesman refuses, but the bartender convinces him. Hotshot tells the group about his plan and gives the salesman's wife a gun and teaches her how to use it. The wife accidentally shoots Hotshot, killing him in the process. Monsters start breaking in, and the group retreats inside the cell where Hobo is being kept, revealing that he had the keys all along. The group ties the salesman with a rope, and he leaves the cell with the keys. He crawls slowly and reaches the safe. But monsters enter the jailhouse, causing the group to pull the salesman back into the cell. A sound draws the monster away from the cell, but the salesman reveals that he dropped the keys. Later on, the group leaves the cell and makes a run for the auto shop. But the salesman and Hobo go the other way, separating from the group. The group finds Lightning, who is still injured from the blast. The wife carries him on her back. A few moments later, the salesman and Hobo encounter a monster, and the salesman uses Hobo as meat bait so that he can escape. But the monster ignores Hobo possibly because of his bad smell and runs after the salesman. He makes it inside a container, where he meets up with Red Hair and Tattoo Girl, who accuses him of being a traitor. They find that there are other survivors inside the container, who tell the salesman to be quiet. The salesman doesn't listen, and the monster finds a hole in the container and kills him. The bartender and the others find the safe where the keys for the vehicles are, but the employee has a hard time remembering the password to the safe. Biker Queen finds the container where some of the group hid. She opens the container to find that the other survivors inside got killed by the salesman, who's now a monster. She shoots the monster and saves both Red Hair and Tattoo Girl. The scene cuts to Hobo hiding under a hole in the ground. Biker Queen and the others follow Hobo and attack him in the dark. They turn on the light, revealing an underground meth lab built inside a bus. This was the same bus that got Hobo in trouble with the law at the start of the second episode. The sheriff arrested him and tortured him, so he would reveal where he stashed his meth lab bus. A monster follows them down and attacks the Tatum girl. They kill the monster, and Hobo gets the bus working. More monsters break inside the bus and kill both Tatu girl and Hobo. The bus surfaces, the wife and the others run out to get in but Biker Queen does not stop and leaves them. However, the bus breaks down shortly after, and others catch up and enter the bus. The noise attracts more monsters, but a priest drives them away, possibly with his holy tap water. He tells them to go underground through the sewers to get to the city. The group enters through the storm drain and navigates the sewers. Biker Queen stops the group because of a noise, which turns out to be ringing coming from the priest hearing aid. Monsters attack from the sewer walls, but the group manages to escape. 
Biker Queen is injured, and Red Hair helped her out. But an infected person called the Puker appears and kills Red Hair. A man drops down from the top and kills the remaining infected as the Puker runs away. He is called Badass, and he says he has been tracking the group for a while. The bartender tells him to close the sewer grate to prevent monsters from coming down, but a monster grabs him and chops his arm off. The bartender and Badass fall down into a hole, leaving the rest of the group to fight the monster. The priest is able to draw the monster away, possibly thanks to his holy tap water. Later on, the bartender and Badass navigate through the dark sewer. The bartender fixes his wound and helps him walk through the water. They hear a sound and suspect a monster is in there with them. A monster jumps out of the water and attacks Badass, but the bartender is able to kill the monster and save him. Biker Queen and the rest of the group stop at a sewer grate, which leads to the next area. They try to pry it off, but it won't budge. A few moments later, Badass awakens, only to find that his womb is getting worse than his ass. The bartender was a war veteran and had picked up a few first aid knowledge during his time. He administers battlefield surgery and tries to close the wound up, but it goes horribly wrong when his other arms get detached from his body. The others still attempt to open the grate, but to no avail. The employee begins feeling disoriented and starts referring to Lightning as a baby. Lightning takes a turn at the sewer grate and kicks it off successfully. The group heads to the next area. Badass is frustrated by the loss of both his hormone let go arms, but the bartender keeps him in line and reminds him to keep fighting till the end. The two manage to regroup with the rest of survivors, and they fight off a horde of the infected. Biker Queen takes the infected puker alone and manages to kill her, but not before she gets covered in puke. Monsters arrive through the many entrances. The wife puts a bullet through the pipe lodged inside the employee's brain and hits it with a hammer, launching the bullet towards the monster. Badass breaks a steam pipe, and the bartender uses it to keep the infected and the monsters at bay while the group escapes. They find a ladder, but they can't open its lock. Badass offers to use his badass as a standing stool to boost everyone up the ladder. One by one, they manage to get up, but the infected trace badass smelly ass, and the monsters kill him, ending his rotting life. The group continues on and reaches a dead end. The priest tells them to open the door while he tries to hold back the monsters. He holds them off with his holy tap water, but it turns out it is his hearing aid that stops the monsters. Right then, his hearing aid stops working and the monster kills him, ending his tap water life. They manage to lift the door and slip through, but the monster, who turns out to be the infected salesman, lifts the door and grabs the employee and kills him by removing the pipe in his head. The group works together and bites through the monster and subdues it. They find a dirt Tesla bike and Biker Queen offers to take the monster as far away as she can, seeing as she's already infected from the puke. The movie ends with the remaining three survivors, the salesman's wife, the bartender, and Lightning walking away in the distance. The bartender suggests that they have to exchange their hormones so as to repopulate the Earth, but a giant robot suddenly crushes the wife and Lightning, leaving him alone and bewildered, with only his male hormones left. This Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.